Good morning, everyone. First, I'm gonna start off with my Neutrogena makeup removers to wipe off the excess makeup I have on my face right now. I know I look a little groggy. I went to bed so late last night and I had to get up early for class today, so excuse my presence. Since I didn't get that much sleep last night, I'm going to use these anti-red eye drops that I got at CVS because my eyes always get red when I'm tired. Next, I'm going to use my tea tree oil with the Q-tip to put on a breakout I just had. It dries it up so nicely and it can disappear within a day or two days of putting it on. So now I'm going to go in with my salmon color from my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit because I have a little dark circles under my eyes and it will cross it out. I'm also going to go under my nose a bit where I had that breakout and on my chin. So now I'm going in with my Porefessional Face Primer and going over the red salmon color I just put on. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with my Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer from Benefit. Now I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals eye color in Cultured Pearl. I'm going to put some in the cap so it's easier access. So now going in with my Lancome brush, I'm just going to put that all over my lid up until my eyebrow. So now I'm going to go in with my Hula Contour and I'm actually going to put this in the crease of my eye. It makes some really nice dimension that's going to go with this red lip look.
So now going in with my Real Technique Beauty Blender, I'm going to go in with the flat side and put my Fit Me Maybelline Foundation in 120 all over my hand and then apply it with the Beauty Blender. So now that my foundation is done, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline True Match Concealer in light and put that on the upper portions of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, above my eyebrows, on my chin, and around my nose. And I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and now this is the, an actual beauty blender. I'm just going to blend all of this out. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer stick from Maybelline an age rewind and light and I'm going to go over all the places I highlighted with my true match concealer stick and instead of using the same side as in the of the beauty blender as I used with the true match I am going to use the other side just so I can get a fresh finish So now going in with my Hoola Contour, I'm going to contour the hollows of my cheeks using an angled brush. I'm going to contour my forehead and then a bit of my jaw and my chin and my nose. So now I'm going to use my Real Technique brush in 301 and contour near the hollows of my ears. So now going in with my Shaney blush palette, I'm going to pick this really nice peachy pink blush and I'm just going to go right above my contour. And going in with my 
blending brush from It Cosmetics. I am going to blend the really pretty blush with my contour. And my brush had sparkles in it. Oh my gosh! So now I'm going to use my Anastasia Powder Contour Kit and going in with the color Banana, I am going to highlight everywhere I put the two concealers. Going in with my absolutely favorite highlight from Laura Geller in Gilded Honey, I'm going to put that where my cheekbones are, on the bridge of my nose, a bit on my chin, on my cupid's bow, and above the brow. So now I will be using my IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil and filling in my brows. So now using my Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go in with this really pretty booty call color and I'm going to go under my eyebrows and in the corners of my eyes just to give myself a really nice, fresh and awake look. So now I'm going to go in with my NYX lip primer and just put that all over my lips. So now going in with my soft matte lip cream in color Monte Carlo, I'm going to go over my lips.
so this is your final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.